I said, look at it, you can't even bend. You can't even bend to feed the cats. So you told me a little story about your husband, I think that's a really good one. So I'm gonna grab a hold of this because I know you have to demonstrate this. Yeah. Tell me about the story of your husband feeding the cat. Okay, how I got my husband into it, and he has never exercised or stretched, you know, men don't seem to right. like doing that. So he just never exercised before, and I, I know he's been bent over more and more, he's 72. And I start worrying about it, and I'm seeing him bending, walking, bending. But I never realized how stiff he really was. So one day, I, I, I had something wrong with my shoulder, and I couldn't bend. So I asked him, I said, Bill, you got to feed the cats today. So here he was, here are the plates down there, water and food. And, and so he says, OK, then I'll do it. So he went, like that, oh, barely could make it. And I watched that in horror, right. <laughs> I saw that. I said, my God, he says, well, it's a long way <laughs> I said, Bill, you got to do something, you got to. I said, look at it, you can't even bend. You can't even bend to feed the cats. What if something happens to me, I'm sick, and you have to do it. And I said, oh, what if you fall? You can't get up because he's so stiff, he can't get up. He's never, he won't exercise, you know. He says, oh, that's, uh, that's not for me, you know. So I said, he said, well, I have you. I have you to take care of me. I said, listen, I'm not always here. I'm still working part-time. I said, you got to do it. So I got him into yoga, yeah. and he's doing chair yoga. And at first, it was a little bit, you know, because his muscles are so tight, it was just, you know, maybe he overstretched. He's a competitive person, so he may have overstretched. He says, God, it hurts. I said, well, just don't do as much. Back off. Right. Do just a little bit, up to the pain. And then, okay, and now he is really getting more flexible. In fact, I saw him the other morning. He was on the floor doing the thread your needle. Oh, he's doing this, you know, the thing right. very, very, you know, with the legs and yeah, all that. Yeah, that is doing. amazing. I was really So what a wonderful role model, and I think wives have to really uh, understand and appreciate how important you are for the health of your husband. Yeah. Right? You, yeah. you mirror that, and hopefully they kind of, you know, see that, and they see the difference in you, too. Yeah. And you're good so influence. hopefully I, I think I do, because he was just saying this morning, I said, you know, I want to do something good for people. I want to be, I don't want to leave this world without doing anything good, you know. And he says, well, you, you do think good for me. You changed me. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I hopefully for the better. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I mean, women always try to change our husbands, you know. I know. <laughs> always for the better, hopefully. Uh, the washing machine. Okay, so the washing machine starts like this, like a hub to begin with. And then we're just gonna gently go back and forth. And the head is going the same way as the body, to begin with. We're all just giving ourselves a little hug, but of course we're working the, the ribs and the hips, good. And now the opposite way, the head and the shoulders go the opposite way. So we're looking over the opposite shoulder as you're twisting. Let's get your neck a little bit more movement, good. Now bring your elbows and your hands touching, almost like I dream of genie, right? This is my dream of genie movement. <laughs> and then you can just go side to side, head and shoulders in the same direction. Okay. Good. And then bring your fingertips to touch with each other. So you're just a little bit wider. And as your arms get a little bit bigger and wider, see your, your um, spinal twist gets a little bit more. And then we're gonna separate, but the elbows are still bent. Good. Start to look behind you as you go now. Just take a little bit further. And now it's all the way out. The arms are going to stretch all the way out to you. All the way behind you. Oh, yeah. So like your little airplane wings. Stretch it out. We're bring it all the way back. Hold it. Fingertips up to the ceiling. Push the palms out and away. So you want to have your elbows nice and straight. Good. Fingertips down towards the floor. And then rotate those backwards. Good. And forwards. And then we're going to swirl them up. Oh, we're going to climb the rope. So we're reaching one arm up, pulling the rope down, reaching the other arm up, and pulling it down. So we want to get length in the rib cage and the spine. This is where we're going to grow tall, taller, and also we can reach the top shelf.
themselves. This is why I like this one. Right. And then we'll both arms from relieve each other. They think they, they do each good. And then we'll sit on.